one flywheel in the electrolysis tank there. This one right here, that was a 55 gallon plastic drum right there. Cut off about 8 inches tall and I don't know, about a third of a box of super washing soda. Got the uh, battery charger over there is uh, running about 7 amps, 6 and a half, 7 amps. And that flywheel's been down in yonder for about three days and you know I come by in the morning time and I turn that flywheel there about a third of a turn and then I come by in the evening time and I turn it about a third of a turn I've only got two plates in there now I could have went on ahead and, and, and I do most of the time I have you know like six or eight plates daisy chained around that uh, tub right there but uh, this time it's only two plates in there and, and it's just kind of to make life simple. The, uh, and I've tried, you know, it's been in there, like I say, about uh, uh, no more than three days. And uh, you see that I got some activity there and, and using these graphite plates, that tank right there is really clean. I can, I can actually see to the bottom of the tank and I have cleaned several parts in here already. So it's, uh, and that's one of the drawbacks of using rebar and files and, and, and assorted other metals and, and it, you know, even stainless steel and all of those different chemical concoctions and different metals, all of them in combination produces a different kind of off-gassing the vapors uh, are a different uh, whatever the content is uh, some of them quite hazardous but you can see there that I do have a pretty good activity here that flywheel is a McCormick Deere in one and a half horsepower type M and uh, uh, the uh, there's a little wave action on top of that tank right there and that's from the wind blowing it's kind of windy here it's not uh, it's nothing has nothing to do with the tank so I'm going to take that out, water brush it, give it an inspection, see what we got. And if you know if it ain't right, I'll put it back in there. And it may be come to the point where that I do have to put the plates between the spokes in order to clean an outward direction to the inside of the flywheel. We'll give it a look, see. Now let's get to the workbench now. About 20 minutes later, the flywheel. The only the only tool that I have used is this uh, war war wheel onto a drill, and I used a file, and that's all. Uh, the file was to dress down a couple of little uh, chiggers. Uh, the flywheel had been struck with a hammer at some point in time, and I did go ahead and dress those dress those away but as you can see this flywheel is really really clean and like I say only about 20 minutes after the electrolysis tank brought it to this condition and the sun's going down and there may be a cast of light on it color but here on site if I can describe it to you it actually looks near like it came out of the out of the mold and 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 just uh well th this is this is the electrolysis video we will talk about this flywheel when we get it in there on the test stand but the only thing i have done in this 20 minute period is i did go around the edge right here with the file like that right there just kind of to i did i didn't file anything away unless it was a little a little high place of some sort so that when we put it on the test machine that I run the dial indicator around through there we'll know where if this is true and that's the next step for this flywheel but the, 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 the point being is with the electrolysis cleaning system I have not removed any metal I have all of the metal that I started with they're, they're, uh, as opposed to sandblasting but the next step on this flywheel is to, uh, I'm, I'm going to wash it down with some metal prep right now and set it aside uh, and we'll get on to, uh, we'll get on to the other one.